Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz appear to be in a decent spot at last. Their separation wasn't really surprising to find out about toward the beginning of Vanderpump Rules last season. However, his abnormal teases and shot makeouts with Rachel Levis were, particularly in the wake of finding out about the then covered up scandal wreck, which we presently realize that Schwartz was conscious of. At the present time in Siphon Rules season 11, their science is high. They're having some good times minutes together, kidding about their successes, and I can't trust I'm going to say this, yet on the off chance that Schwartz could simply get off of Tom Sandoval's athlete, these two could really rejoin and maybe make things work this time. Be that as it may, unfortunately, Katie merits regard, and soon, we will see her tracking down her next likely match. Notwithstanding, her ex additionally feels butterflies for her new fire and this unforeseen circle of drama is going to go down on VPR. In Bravo's most recent sneak lip gift, Sheena Shea's previous caretaker, Tori Keith, at last goes into the fight, and Katie and Schwartz both pay heed. Presently, our little Sheshu initially endeavored to set Tori up with Schwartz. However, Sheena's heard making sense of obviously I misconstrued things, since when Katie caught wind of it, she was like, um no, Tori ought to date me all things being equal. Yet look, everything is fair enamored in war. And with Katie and Schwartz, that is actually all you get. In last week's episode, the whole posse went to the ocean side, where the bitterness among Sandoval and Ariana Maddox arrived at new levels. Hence, Schwartz will eliminate Sandoval from the sand one week from now, and they'll wander over to a close by ocean sidebar for harmony. Nonetheless, the cast in the long run goes along with them with Tori, yet when she shows up, Schwartz and Sandoval are participating in shots with the nearby women. Subsequently, when Tori saddles up close to Schwartz, he regrets, my God, my better half's here. Are you going to include me in your discussion? Tori asks Schwartz back as he's actually confronting local people. In any case, Tori's not frantic and chuckling among her and the randoms then happens. She asks Schwartz to at long last ask her out on the town, however, which he then does. Just later, Katie strolls over, and Tori embraces her, making Schwartz joke in his confession booth. What a little asterisk blocker. In Katie's confession booth, she has an answer to Schwartz's dissatisfactions. On the off chance that he could do without me taking his young ladies from him, perhaps he ought to put in more effort. Lisa Vanderpump is being called out for prodding and insulting party ability that she had recruited for an occasion. This isn't whenever she first has been the subject of awful work rehearses. However, what went down among her and the project workers continued to peruse for additional subtleties. Lisa Vanderpump got down on for provoking and prodding party ability. Hosting luxurious and elaborate get-togethers is something that Lisa Vanderpump loves to design and have. Her girl, Pandora Todd Sabo's wedding was a powerful occasion, and that is the manner by which she jumps at the chance to get things done. Tragically, likewise with her organizations, she can seek called out for unfortunate treatment, and it doesn't go well 100% of the time. Recently, LVP was sued by previous TomTom Tom representatives. They claimed they had hazardous work conditions, and there was sewage and reinforcement in the representative break slash storage space. Also, they added, during this period, the previous bartenders experienced widespread infringement of California work regulations, badgering, and dangerous working circumstances. Presently, as per a Reddit string, LVP is likewise unpleasant to those she enlists for individual gatherings. She had performers dressed as mermaids for her little girl. Pandora's commitment party during her experience on RHOBH. It was tossed by her old buddy, Muhammad Hadid, so LVP and her family were only visitors. Regardless, one of the mermaids stood in opposition to how gravely LVP talked about her and another woman, likewise employed to be a mermaid. 
A considerable lot of the OG RHOBH cast individuals were at this occasion, and it was genuinely over the top with creatures and clearly the hated mermaids. Anyway, what did devotees need to say regarding the possibility that Lisa Vanderpump was belittling toward these specialists? What is she telling us for? Does she anticipate that we should blacklist the show for mermaid segregation? This is so unfortunate. Like young lady come on wasn't in Muhammad's party. I believe it's a stretch referring to herself as gifted. I can do a superior mermaid impression after a touch of vodka. I just watched this episode. She was acting an imbecile at that gig for what reason is she bringing this up now? Why now? This was toward the start of RHOBH, so adherents asked why she was bringing this up at this point. All the more anyway, they felt that it was her responsibility to fold around so what did she truly anticipate? Furthermore, it was noticed that this was a party for Lisa Vanderpump and family tossed by Mohammed Hadid. Accordingly, for what reason was the fault being placed on her these years after the fact? At long last, it was Camille Grammer Meyer who made the nasty remark on camera, so why not pursue her? It just appeared to be generally speaking absurd, not that anybody's calling ought to be derided. What is your take of this restoring these years after the fact? Tell us your considerations in the remarks. New beneath. anticipates the skyline after Tom Sandoval, all on account of Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney. Furthermore, thank heavens, since no one ought to must be stuck working for a really long time. Nobody can reject that Anne went through certain hardships this season. On the brilliant side, fans accepted her very much well. In the midst of the confusion inborn to Vanderpump rules, Anne gave some genuinely necessary levity and a grounded mentality. For quite a long time, there were thunderings that Anne had turned into Ariana's associate someplace down the line. Ariana denied this yet prodded that there were advancements in progress. Presently, we realize Anne will be essential for something about her, Katie, and Ariana's impending sandwich shop. According to Bravo, on the lengthy episode of VPR Season 11, Episode 10, Ariana uncovered that Anne would be helping out with some sandwich shop stuff. Katie made sense of, Anne needs a task, and we want to recruit somebody, adding, she must post for herself. Tom Sandoval isn't her primary need. In a confession booth on the show, Anne had the option to make sense of what occurred among her and Tom. In my frenzy and sweat, I thumped on Ariana's entryway and I was like, I believe I'm getting terminated. Anne reviewed. She was so great. She took my shoulders and was like, you will be all right. And I was like, thank you. And afterward, I went down the stairs to the kitchen to cry. Tom kept up with that he didn't fire Anne. Yet paying little heed to what occurred, she's presumably appreciative for the new open door. Expecting something about her at any point opens. Assuming Ariana and Katie are to be trusted, even they can't say without a doubt. Hopefully an initial date comes soon, if by some stroke of good luck for the well-being of Anne. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.